welcome to today's video where we're range testing the Kuangsheng UVK5. So as you can see, we've got a retivist, this is just a standard walkie-talkie and this is what we're going to try to communicate to. We're going to be going at about a medium range uh, in a built-up area, uh, built up being foliage, trees, bushes, etc. You can probably hear the explosions in the background, there's a lot of fireworks going on. I'm trying to find a, a break in the noise. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out, we're going to test it, I'm going to set up the um, the radio, and then what we're going to do is try and communicate to it at different ranges with different kind of open areas, built up areas, um, and see how well it performs. We're just using the standard radio it comes with, and we're going to be using the PMR446 frequency um, to do so. So without further ado, let's get walking, get moving, and get testing. So we're outside, we've uh, just come up a bit of a hill. So it's gonna be the first check to see if we can hear it. Radio check, radio check. One, two, three, one, two, three, radio check. So, now on to the next place. I think we're just gonna be kind of reviewing the footage every so often, out of breath, it's a pretty steep hill. So uh, we'll keep going and we'll go to check out the next point and uh, we're a bit further, we're going to be a bit more built up and see how well it performs. So we're out back out now, um, it's starting to rain a bit so I might have to head back, check on the camera but um, we'll do another check while we're here. So radio check, radio check, one, two, three, one, two, three, radio check. And then we can review that and see um, how that comes out. We're pretty built up. Obviously, we're just testing to see how good this radio is with a standard antenna. So I'm not expecting amazing things, but we'll see how it works in something that's a bit more built up. So we'll walk through and I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I'm on about. As you can see, lots of trees, lots of bushes. So this will definitely scramble a radio signal. Uh, it's just a standard radio that we use, nothing special. So it'll really test that as obviously the range on them are not brilliant, especially in built up areas. So we're going to go to one more place and then we're going to head back and pray that the camera isn't fried. It's only a light rain shower, but the uh, GoPro hasn't got its casing on and I've got a battery charger charging it as well. So it could be a problem and probably a lot of these puddles, puddles are going to be a problem as well. So we'll have to see. So I'm going to try and get through all of this, uh, find another spot that's really heavily built up and we'll see how it performs. So you probably recognize where we are. Uh, we've done a drone video here. <laughs> and we're back here again where it was very built up. We're nice and open. Um, so I'll do another radio check. I'll have to get on Google Maps as well to see how far we are. Uh, let me just rotate the camera. So we've rotated the camera now, so it's a bit easier to talk to you. So yeah, we're out in the open. So we'll just do radio check, radio check, one, two, three, one, two, three, radio check. And that's hopefully we can hear that. Um, we're going to take a walk now. For all that, um, it's a pretty built up area. Got to watch my foot. And um, we'll see if we can get a signal through all of this uh, to test this out compared to, well, just against a normal radio. So obviously against another one of these, it's probably even stronger. Um, so we'll see. So I'll keep moving and I'll update you on the next point. It's not going to be the most exciting video, but I'm going to put some Google Maps stuff up so we can kind of see the range so we'll know exactly how far we are away in heavily wooded built up areas i think this is going to be the last spot we go to now um if i just rotate we can kind of see it's pretty heavily wooded again there's only so much i can really show with heavily wooded area um but yeah we're going to uh do another shout out on the radio so radio check one two three radio check one two three Hopefully it hears it. If not, you know, it's all part of the uh, the video to check the range on this thing. So um, we're going to head back. I'm going to quickly pop the drone up and show you what this kind of wooded area looks like so you can see how big it is um, and how dense this place is. And then, um, yeah, we're going to head back. So let's shoot up to the drone.
excuse the noises in the background. Fireworks are going on. Um, so yeah, basically, I've reviewed the footage, um, and surprisingly, surprisingly to me, but probably to everyone else, it's not very surprisingly. Uh, I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't. Know, I'm, I've got a feeling it's a, a mix between the length of the antenna and also um, the location I placed it was right behind like a concrete block pillar. So you're just not going to get a signal through that. So I haven't really thought this through. Um, I mean, we've got a little fun video out of it. To be honest, that's probably about a mile away from the actual um, location. So I think that hasn't really helped. Now, one thing I do have, if I can find the thing, is one of these, a Baofang, Baofang, however you like to pronounce it, with an extended antenna on it. So this probably would have worked if it was like this, but I'm trying to see how well it is with these just normal handheld radios. So I think we're gonna to have to reattempt this video. We're gonna class it as a failure for this one for mid range with um, like kind of built up areas or um, you know foliage built up. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. I'll probably try and relocate the actual walkie talkie itself to somewhere where it's a bit more open to try and receive a signal. Um, not just against the pillar in my head, I was just trying to kind of lean it up against something. Um, and then we'll try it again with the Kwong Sheng, and then we're probably going to do one of these talking to each other. Um, I may also do some with the Bao Fang, just because I've got like extended antenna. Um, so I can kind of try it against a stock antenna, I can unscrew them and you know, re-screw them back quickly um, on the video. So yeah, this has been a bit of a failed video. It's a positive, it's, it's, it's a failed and a succeeded video because I guess I'm not always going to win everything that I'm trialing. So in that sense, it's a fail, it's a, it's a success as in of being able to complete it and found the answer, but sadly the answer was no, it hasn't worked. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not been the most exciting of things, but it's been very interesting. It's a kind of new style of video that I've decided to make. They may come more, there may be a point where I get camera person I don't don't know yet but if you stay tuned you like subscribe and favorite which is probably the first time I've ever asked to do that and um, hopefully we can keep making some fun little videos like this we can learn together some new stuff and we can figure out how good these radios are so until the next video thank you very much for watching